Uh, Madam Chairman, Board, we'll just review some projects that we're familiar with and then talk about uh, a couple of new ones. Project Maroon, that's our bioscience project. Uh, that project is still on course, on track, uh, with the company looking at term letters, and uh, it uh, should progress as we expect it to progress over the next 12 months. Uh, project Express Scripts continues to move along successfully. We've had, uh, since our last meeting, we've had another cohort hire of about 28 folks, and that is the last cohort which will go into the last currently scheduled training session, which we begin in November, and when we complete that session, we would have hired and trained about 125 folks, uh, and we are still in the process of talking with the company about an extension of that training and maybe some additional cohorts. So that's moving forward nicely. Uh, on our project harvest, you'll recall that is a, uh, a regional uh, manufacturer of, of fabricator of uh, agricultural implements. Uh, we've continued our discussions with them about an expansion opportunity in uh, one of our industrial parks. We met with their CFO or their controller this week. Uh, we looked at the building that they uh, really think they would like to move towards. We've got some uh, very precise negotiations going on now with the building owner, uh, and we'll present some proposals back to the controller before he departs for home on Thursday. We'll also be taking that group to dinner on Thursday evening. So that's good progress to report there. Uh, Project Wire, uh, we talked about Project Wire last month. Uh, we've had uh, some additional work that we've done there because of the company's uh, uh, award of some new contracts and their need for some new hires fairly quickly. So we asked the Georgia Department of Labor to come in and work with us and do a, an assessment of their manufacturing operation, helping them more precisely target the skills that they need to be looking for to hire. So we completed that last week. Um, and then the next steps are for us to continue our work on looking at an expansion, new construction in one of our existing parts for them. Um, project Treadway is a new project. Uh, we've begun work with a local company seeking a location to build a service support facility for commercial trucks that are providing transportation to a number of our logistics distribution facilities in the community and also to some of our manufacturing facilities in the community. We've identified a suitable location, uh, and now we are working through some specifics about design, preliminary engineering services. We expect that to go fairly quickly because the company would like to be in operation at the new location in Q2 of 2014. So that's a fairly aggressive schedule. Uh, so we're, we're excited about that project. Uh, project Greensleeve, you're familiar with that project. Uh, we worked that, some preliminary engineering work. That's logistics distribution associated with produce. Uh, the project is now back. Uh, we're working to rescale or rescope that project at the same location uh, that we had uh, talked about before, which was Westside Business Park, as you'll recall. Uh, so there'll be some work that we will that will go on in the next uh, 30 to 60 days on resizing, rescoping that project. What the company's looking to do is finish out this harvest or this growing season, move into their off season so that uh, they could do the work that they need to do to be ready to operate out of a new facility for the harvest season in 2014. So we have plenty of time to work there. Uh, we have a new project, uh, Project GH2013. Uh, that is a local uh, manufacturing company that is looking for a fairly significant expansion of to their existing manufacturing operations, about 80,000 square feet at an existing location. Um, initial estimates are 15 to so jobs that will be associated with that. Uh, and a capital investment of about $2.3 million. So, uh, Mr. Gupton and I are working now along with our CPA on uh, property tax reduction schedules in the city and packages for that project. That's moving along nicely. Um, just a little bit of an update for you here. Let me get this opened up for us. 
on our Georgia Power Advanced Solar Initiative. This was the Mud Creek Wastewater Treatment Plant project. Last month, we looked at some of the uh, racking and engineering that was being installed. I'm, I'm happy to report to you tonight uh, looking at that project on 6.4, about 6.5 acres adjacent to the Mud Creek Wastewater Treatment Plant. That uh, this is uh, a little bit uh, more precise view of that. This is what you would see today. Uh, Hannah Solar has completed the work. And you see the panels that are up and in operation, and that facility is now in service and providing uh, electricity to the Georgia Power Company, which they are now passing onto the grid. That was a very good project for us to work. So uh, I think we ought to feel good about bringing that 1.25 megawatt facility to our community, which represents about a $2.5 million capital investment in renewable sustainable energy. Excellent. Uh, just a couple of things uh, with regards to existing industry. You can see our existing industry report before you in the, in the companies that we visited this past month. Rigor Marine, Max, CJB, Langdale Industries, and Electech, and the opportunities that we were working uh, with those companies on, on pursuing as we move forward. And then lastly, I would want to mention our Community Business and Industry Partnership Workforce Development Initiative. Uh, this is our action plan that you see before you. Uh, we are currently um, on the third step of that action plan where our educational champions are working on existing ed educational programs, courses, and, and new initiatives to help us resolve some of the issues and concerns that were surfaced by our uh, industry champions in manufacturing and logistics and distribution. Our next uh, key event will be a seminar uh, that we have tentatively scheduled now for the 14th of November, and we will come together at that seminar, and each of our educational institutions will have an opportunity to present the results of their work, uh, making sure that we understand the existing programs that are in place and new programs that they are contemplating putting in place to help resolve some of those issues. And I will tell you that there has been a significant amount of activity uh, and work by our community educational leaders in this work. I spoke yesterday with some folks from Wiregrass, Georgia Tech. They've got some great things going. Uh, Valdosta State University has some great things going. So I'm really looking forward to hearing what they have to say to us during the summer. And that's back on November 14th. That's back on November the 14th. That's correct. Um, lastly, um, you would see before you the industrial park acreage update. And uh, Madam Chairman, that concludes my report. <coughs> Mr. Wake.